Hello everybody, um, this video isn't going to be related to Microsoft Excel specifically, it's going to be related to like Office um, um, software in general uh, and it is about uh, writing equations um, and this is something that might be um, kind of uh, of importance to those who uh, deal a lot with equations or um, engineers or whoever uh, uses equations a lot. <clears throat> it's um, it's kind of a pretty easy thing, but if if you're not familiar with it or you do not know how to do this, it might be um, very tough. Um, so usually, if uh, I'll start here with Microsoft Word, if you wanna uh, write an equation, let's say I'm I'm, I'm writing a text. <clears throat> Um, a paper or a report or whatever thing and you want to write some equations um, let's say I'm doing some uh, fluid mechanics um, calculations and I want to say the um, Bernoulli equation is as follows and then I want um, uh, something is not right here um, Anyways, um, uh, I, I want to write the Bernoulli equation, which is includes uh, some terms that has um, subscripts, it has uh, powers, it has or superscripts, it has uh, divisions. Um, so it includes many things that are of interest. So usually, if you want to go for uh, equations, you would do uh, go to insert ribbon, and then you would find here equation. There are some kind of built-in equations here, um, like this. Um, and they're they're ready to use just uh, click on it and it's gonna be done um, and and it's, it's very useful if if you want to use this equation however in in many many cases like our case now uh, you do not have this equation as one of these here so you can just uh, click on this and it kind of opens um, a special place for writing the equation in the version, new versions of, of Office, life is very, very easy. I, I remember I used to do the uh, equation calculations in back in like 10 years ago or so, and it was very, very difficult. And it would open a special window for the equation, and any time you want to edit the equation, it would take time depending on how the computer is fast or slow, and it would, it would be tedious. However, now it is part of the text so you do not need to do something special to write in this um, in this uh, equation so let's say i want to say it is p and uh, and and when you write write equation you will find a new tab here which is the equation it has a um, lot of stuff the the parts which will be of interest to most of people um is this uh, part which is the symbols it enables you to insert as many symbols as you want uh, there are many types of symbols the greek letters all the greek letters the red letter like symbols the operators the um, um, arrows everything is available here uh, so um, let's say i um, yeah and, and and this is the first part the second part is this the structure uh, it enables you to insert um, um, division symbol uh, it's gonna be like the normal division or the uh, skewed fraction or the linear fraction whatever thing and it enables you to do powers to do subscripts both superscripts and subscripts and um, um, right or left um, the uh, square roots uh, cubic root whatever you can add as many roots as you want the integrations um, the uh, larger operators here which is the sum the uh, multiplication uh, and the uh, union the uh, intersections and all this stuff so it it, it has uh, like a very nice combination any kind of brackets that you want you can um, do this way the uh, trigonometric function sine cosine tan inverse uh, all this stuff uh, if you want to put hats or dots or double dots or anything they can be put from here um, and other operators here like um, equal equal kind of and the, the the errors are always available here you can do matrices um, uh, and and we will go through this uh, quickly but let's say I want to use the the um, buttons here to do the Bernoulli equation so it I want to say p1 
divided by gamma so I want to do subscript so what I'm gonna do is this um, and, and you'll notice that it will not build the subscript on what's already written so it, it puts uh, an empty uh, symbol with the subscript so I have to do here and then one I want to do divided by so I, I, I would um, highlight this too um, and go to the equation and go to the fraction and here over gamma I want to get gamma so I'm gonna go here to the basic math it should be here and then plus v1 um, so I, I kinda I'm, I'm getting more used to it now so I want to do um, v1 squared so it's gonna be v1 squared over 2g and then plus um, um, z1 and this is gonna be easy now I don't want to do um, anything so I'm gonna put it like this z1 um, equal everything but 2 so I'm, I can copy this and paste it here so it's a pretty s s simple straightforward process it's not uh, like kind of time-consuming so this is um, how you do it um, while you're writing um, and and uh, as you see I already used all these um, tabs here and all and this this symbol tab here so I can put anything I want here uh, one thing you need to know is that you can do it way easier by using shortcuts um, there are many shortcuts that would enable you to do everything here except for the symbols without using uh, the the buttons that we use so I'm gonna insert one more equation and I'm gonna do it this way so first I wanna put the first uh, part so so to do the the normal division um, you need to put the symbol which is the backslash and press space so it, it understands that this means the division and then you want to do p1 so you can do underscore one press space it understands that it is p1 and um, divided by gamma there is no way you can do it here to the best of my knowledge of course and then you can um, do it this way plus again then v underscore one and then do the power that we use in in, in excel and matlab um, and it understands it is superscript and subscript over 2 g plus z underscore 1 equal the, the same thing on the other side so you can do it easily without the need to do every single thing here um, with the with the buttons from the from the ribbon one drawback of using the equations here is that um, let's say you want to put these two on the same line so I want to put right the Bernoulli equation is so you notice that the equation is kind of font is getting smaller so that it fits with the um, with the uh, normal text that you're writing here um, it is kind of tedious and I do not like it personally and I try my best to put all the uh, text and the normal text and the equation on separate lines so I don't have this problem however in some cases I am forced to do to do this and I, I kind of find a tweak uh, or a way to go around this problem uh, by inserting a table I know it's it's not a I don't like doing this but it is the only way I can do it to to make it look uh, look nice and I get a copy of this and now I can get a copy of this um, get this to be uh, aligned to the left um, I can um, change this uh, size of this cell to be smaller or narrower and I make this table without borders um, where um, where was it um, oh here so I can make it with no borders and you can kind of make it look better by making the alignment this way so you can get this as, as this but it looks it looks better um, but I, I personally prefer to make it on two separate lines let's say I have a matrix that I wanna draw uh, or write a matrix so I, I will insert an equation 
and now you have this matrix so we know that the matrix or, or first uh, the brackets um, let's say I wanna put this between brackets so it, it's again it's the same thing I would um, take this here and paste it and I wanna say equals um, I wanna make it between brackets so I'm gonna insert brackets here any shape uh, like this and I wanna say um, equal X for instance so I'll put it like this you can do it the same way by putting the square brackets and pressing space and X the good thing about the brackets is that it expands and gets bigger if the equation is bigger let's say I want to make uh, or write something that e this equals a over B so uh, over C over D so you see the bracket is getting bigger and bigger and bigger to uh, accommodate the, the the equation inside so it's 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 very nice you do not need to worry about it and if you want to put another bracket inside then you can put this bracket and then a B, whatever thing you want to write it's it's gonna work um, so it's it's very convenient and easy to use now let's go to the matrices I have here an option to insert a matrix which is um, uh, uh, 1 by 2, 2 by 1, 1 by 3, 3 by 1, and then 2 by 2, till 3 by 3. So this is the the, the largest matrix that I can use. Of course, you can put it between, um, between brackets, square brackets, so it looks like the matrix that we are used to. So I just cut and paste. And let's say I have already the numbers put in the matrix, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I want to make the matrix bigger, insert one row or one, one column you can simply right click anyway here or uh, anywhere here or on, on the place and then th that you're interested in and you tell him insert a row before or after column before and after and it will do all what you want to do um, so it's very easy to work with uh, you just uh, insert as many columns and rows as you want and I think I didn't try it before um, to insert more than one row or one column um, but uh, no it inserts one by one so it, if, if it's a large matrix it would be kind of time consuming but it's it's not a big deal um, so it's it's uh, it's a good to to, to work with um, sometimes it's useful also for writing chemical equations let's say I want to say that sodium I want to insert an equation I want to say that sodium hydroxide um, plus um, HCl I want to draw the arrow so you can find here in the operators some arrows here um, like this for instance uh, and this will be an ACL plus H2O and yeah, you need to be cautious because uh, you need to go out of the subscript to continue working on the normal text um, so this is the, how the equation works uh, let's say you wanna put the conditions here of course it's uh, there are no conditions for this equation but let's say uh, temperature pressure and a catalyst for instance um, it, it will accommodate everything uh, if you have a reversible reaction and you want to put um, an arrow that's going back and forth you can find it here it's, it's not the best way to find it here because this is not the the shape of the arrow that we use usually for the um, reversible reaction so you can find something here which is the arrows and in the arrows here you can find this shape or you can find this shape I personally like this but you can find both both will work um, uh, so this is for the arrows the operators and for everything and now uh, there is one thing that is in Microsoft Excel and in Microsoft PowerPoint that is not here um, and the, the difference is that you're writing here in a software that is uh, dedicated to writing text so it's, it's it's not a problem here but here in Microsoft Excel let's say we have an empty file like this and you want to insert an equation 
um, and to put this equation you do not have lines or specific place to write so let's say I, I, I have already uh, selected this cell which is f5 and I want to insert an equation you would find the same thing all the errors the the, the tabs and the, the buttons and everything and I want to say the uh, a1 plus a2 equals b3 any 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 equation okay so you will have uh, like a textbook that you have here and you can put it some anywhere in the in the file that uh, that you were working with but sometimes you you will not be able to see exactly how the text looks like it it may get you you might get kind of confused because of the arrows uh, or, or the lines of the cells in the background so you can have some uh, flexibility or some options to edit the um, the uh, equation uh, which is the shape fill you can choose the color that you use to fill the text so in this case um, it has a white background so even if there are some lines in the background I'm not gonna interfere with the text or the, the equation the second thing is the outline you can choose to have an outline you you can make it bigger you can make it smaller depending on how uh, you want the equation to look like uh, or, or the textbooks to to look like uh, you can make the outline orange you can make the text um, so this is here and for for word and, and for excel um, the the text fill to make it uh, blue um, it's up to you like put any kind of shape that you want so this is I think most of the um, information that you need to know about the um, equations in Microsoft Office in general um, you you might learn more stuff by um, by like trying this by yourself but I, I believe that this gives you the um, main idea and the basic information that you need to know so you can get started with it. So I hope it helps. Goodbye.